Hey, thanks for joining me in the studio. I'm Richard Robinson, I'm in New Zealand, and today I'm going to paint this beautiful coastal scene of uh, Cathedral Cove in New Zealand. And uh, I'm going to teach a lot of things in this lesson, but the main point of the workshop is going to be loosening up in acrylics. So what we're going to end up with is a painting that's sort of half abstraction and half realism. And I've always loved to see that kind of painting and it's a real joy to paint in, uh, in both styles within the one painting. So if that sounds good to you, then come along and uh, we've, we've got an hour and a half class here and I'll take you through everything you need to know to achieve that sort of painterly look. Okay. Something pretty important about the detail of this is that if you look at the, uh, the line at the base of the rocks, it's not dead flat, right? It shows you something about the slope of the beach as it goes up here. So it's a very slight, very, very slight curve or angle as it goes up the beach like that. And it's very easy to miss out on, but it does give you some pretty important information about the shape of that beach because um, it's all about the relationships, right? So, <clears throat> like in a song, if you want something to really grab somebody's attention, you're going to have a big, quiet space, and then a bow, and the <laughs> people are going <laughs> to spill their drinks. Um, <laughs> so, so similarly with this, in the foreground, you've got this big, open, expansive, not a lot happening, and then all this interest up here. Right, so there's that contrast. There's also the contrast of the, the dark to light. So there's that balance. Uh, thinking about the colors, um, yes, often gray uh, a large area down a little bit so that the more colorful center of interest can really um, do its stuff on the stage. Well, most of the time in a painting, what I'm doing is building the stage for the main actors. And in this scene, the main actors the main actor is this rock wall here, right? All the, uh, the contrast and shadow and light play there. So uh, that's what I feel like I'm doing to build up to that glory work right at the end. Just down the bottom here, I'm going to give it a little coat of yellow ochre, some white, a little touch of red. Pretty careful with it there, as you see. All very thoroughly pre-calculated. Because um, I'm, I'm going to work down, like I say, I, I tend to work from dark to light. So this section is lighter up here, it's going to be. And I need to work down into my darker stuff with that. So yeah, you can see what fun you can have and how quickly you can paint a decent sized painting that's 15 inches square if you use a lot of paint and big brushes and that really is the key to painting more gesturally as, as well as that one key rule of putting it down and leaving it alone because if you don't it's just gonna get all smushed and lose the beauty of those individual marks. Mm -hmm.